Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video. As you can see, I just got done with a Crime Den raid, but I do want to re-up my ventures. If you guys don't know what ventures are, you should take advantage of these. You should get two skills or two professions up to the level required so you can make sure to start doing ventures. You can see here my Summer View grapes are ready to collect, and that is with the market. So once I get my market profession up to a certain level, I can actually start collecting these grapes. And it gives me money as well as it gives me some good XP. So I'm also going to showcase uh, the wanted posters, which is for the profession of detective. Uh, so let's run over to the first part. In the west gate, we have the grapes. We're going to be picking these up. They require level 21 merchant to actually do the grapes. Um, so we'll come over here to Varco Molo. We'll talk to him. And you'll see I get 4,500 XP. And I also get a lot of grapes. These also sell for 450 almost copper a piece. So it's really, really a nice thing to do. It takes 24 hours for these to take place. So let's show how this all works. So you get 8 silver, 860 copper um, for 20 bunches is how much it costs. So we're actually going to pay 8 silver, 860 copper. And when it comes, we're actually going to get the XP as well as the all the grapes that we can sell for more money. So it's a very easy concept. The ventures are definitely worth taking advantage of. We don't know how you unlock the other four venture slots, unfortunately, but we do know that you get two currently and you should take advantage of these at all times. These are basically going to be the equivalent to dailies in other games, but these are very, very easy to do. I mean, 24 hour period to put them in. And if you do miss them, it's not a big deal. Only 4,500 XP. It's just free XP and uh, a little bit of money you can make on the side. So I'm going to run back in and show you actually the wanted posters part with the detective and how that works. And then we'll talk a little bit of an overview on ventures and really what professions have them and what professions have good versions of them. So let's run over here to the detective depot and right out front we already have this one going it has 10 hours and seven minutes left it's a level 150 detective poster so you can see the info um so once this is done i put a new one on and i get experience right away so definitely take advantage like i said of these ventures they're going to give you free xp as well as free loot but i do want to showcase the professions now because there's a couple of professions that you actually get earlier versions of these ventures so the merchant is definitely one of the fastest you actually get the first merchant venture like we said is grapes at level 21 so get your merchant to level 21 so you can start earning xp passively basically over time um so that is the first thing i'll say another thing to kind of quickly mention is we know about bricks already and those are going to be used for builder in episode five well you can start passively getting bricks and tiles at level 44 merchant and level 65 merchant so if you want to upgrade to those um, ventures you definitely can at those levels so let's talk a little bit about detective because detective is what i have been kind of focused in on myself and this unlocks at level 43 so at level 43 you're going to get your first venture for detective combats don't have ventures so combats are pretty fast leveling already so you do not have venture opportunities with combat but if we actually look most crafting uh, professions do not either. It's going to be mostly gathering. So if we actually take a look at fishing, you can see the first fishing profession is going to be level 39. Or sorry, the first fishing venture is going to be level 39 with the lobster. If we look at mining, the first mining venture is actually going to take place at level 30 with the brimstone. So that's something you guys can take advantage of at level 30 mining. So right now we just have fishing, mining, detective, and merchant as our main four that we're going to be continuing to kind of swap between um, for the ventures. And I want to hear what you guys are using. What are you using your ventures for? I just want to kind of make a quick video kind of showcasing what levels these are at and why you should take advantage of them as they're so easy to obviously take advantage of when they're just basically passive XP and passive rewards. So one thing you'll notice is if you click on any profession and you scroll through, you can actually see this little hourglass. This hourglass means it's a venture and therefore you know when your next upgraded venture is going to be. So let's say my next one specifically for merchant is going to be at level 44. It's going to be coarse bricks. And uh, my next one after that, if I keep scrolling down, will be course tiles at 65. So it's very easy to see what ventures and when they are coming. So make sure to take advantage of that. Let me know down in the comments section below what uh, ventures you guys are all taking advantage of. I love to take advantage of the merchant and the detective professions. 
ventures because I am a big fan of episode four, as you can see. So this is going to be my focus, merchant and detective. Let me know, like I said, in the comments below what you guys are doing with your ventures. And if you have any questions, definitely let me know as well. And if you haven't already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. We're going to continue to keep you guys up to date with everything regarding Brighter Shores. I'll see you all in the next one.